Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Arizona State staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Sack. Fred, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Booming kick. bring him down at the 38. Not much there on that opening drive. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Throws complete. He's hit right away. That makes it second and six. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. Short game there by the halfback for the first down. Well, the defense closed in on it pretty quickly, but not before he picked up just enough yards for the first. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 49. He's in trouble. Going long. And he's immediately tackled. His secondary better tighten it up. Taking a slow down this drive. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Tackle at the 10. A gain of eight on the carry. a run. Loss of one there for the halfback. They're going to go for the easy three here. Oregon State is looking to go up by three. He gets it up and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oregon State's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, second down. 
They'll spread the field with five oh, wide. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at about the 49. Number eight on the tackle at the 49-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. It's second and ten. Ball on the 49. hit immediately. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Red kill, two. Kill. Orange Answer three. Two. Orange three. Orange three. He chucks it downfield. Almost intercepted. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Oregon State has a three-point lead. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. The defender had it and then dropped it. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. tailback on the screen. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Brought down at the 29-yard line. The Beavers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Three, nine. They make the stop at the 30-yard line. The option gets them a yard at best. That brings up second and nine. Kill, kill, kill! Blue three. Blue four. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34. Call it again. throws it away. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. He really got a hold of that one. Fielded at the 19. And down he goes at the 30. You gotta wonder right now which offense is gonna open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. Oregon State is up a field goal. We've played one quarter. Oregon State in front, 3-0.
set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. From their own 34-yard line, third down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out around the 40-yard line. Wants to throw outside. It's going the other way. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. Game seven. That'll bring up second and three. Watch the pass. Oh, kill, kill, kill. Blue yellow, four. Three. Check blue, three. Check blue, three. Check three. Blue, four. Three. Has some daylight. Makes it out to about the 39. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Again, good outside run there. That makes it second and six. Just throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Play. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Red two! That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down at the 16. Number 23 brings him down at the 16-yard line. That brings up second and one. Easy, two, blue, four, 20, four. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it first and goal. Check, Yo, check. Here we go. Name's Name's Motion, Let's go. Out of bounds, right around the six-yard line. Converts the extra point. 
So an 11 play 60 yard drive and it's good for seven points. Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today making big play after big play. The crazy thing is he still have such a close game despite how well they play. In a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He's got an opening. The ball is loose. The defense falls on it. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball and a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Arizona State is up four. He fights forward to about the 36. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. They run left and he'll lose yardage. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. Slings it, and he's taken down at the 17. Gain of seven yards. Third down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back in. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Man, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers literally have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. And he 
he's tackled at the 22. The Sun Devils are going to call their second timeout. We got third and long here. Ball on the 22. Green nine, green nine. Red seven, red two. Going for it all to the end zone. That makes it fourth and long. It's up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there, and one of his guys can come down with it. He airs it out. And he hauls it in at the end of that long ball. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 17-3, Arizona State. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, David. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you they need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise at them and knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. Well, maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sun Devils continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. 10, 20. Watch the motion. Watch the motion. And he's going to come up with a sack. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 24. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 33. Now he pitches it. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up fourth and one. Oh, excellent punt. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 36. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around.
throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 36-yard line, second down. And a quick throw brought down at the 45-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Dog kill! Green 15! Check three, check three. Yellow, go! Call it a game of seven yards. First down. Green 15! Yellow, go! Red kill! Yellow, three! Yellow, three! Yellow, three! He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Catches it, and that's all. Makes the catch. Number eight on the tackle at the 42 yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide outs. First and ten. ten. Five wide. Red two. Kill, kill. Green eight. Panther two. Pick the edge. Pick the edge. Go. He's out of bounds at the 27. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Pass complete there for about five yards and a first down. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That makes it second and six. Kill, kill, kill! Orange three! Orange three! And he tackles him hard at the eight. It's the eleventh play of the drive. to the receiver, touchdown! <laughs> Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11-play, 65-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oregon State's getting stomped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency score and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points up. Up the middle for a nice game. From their own 30-yard line, second down. the stop around the 39 yard line. He has some room. And he 
and he is drilled at the 49-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's finally tackled at the 25-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. From the 25-yard line, first down. First and goal as he's knocked down after a nice game. Interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route, but regardless, still great play by the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Ready! Cut. Gets out to around the 32. Call the game 12 yards. First down. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Hey, kill, kill, kill! kill. Green nine. Five, They'll give it off here. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. from the pressure. We head to the fourth. 24 to three, Sun Devil. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 38. Puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's tackled at the 26. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Gets out to about the 32-yard line. No game on the play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And down he goes. Around the 
44 yard line. Complete over the middle, and he's taken down at the 46. First and ten, ball on the 46. He's going to air it long, and he got it. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him on the first and goal. That's a good look and throw and catch. Obviously, the defense is going to have to give them some room, but they're not going to give up the big play. First down, knocking on the door here is first and goal inside the five. Defense would like to come up with another big play like they did in the last trip for this offense. Touchdown, OSU! This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 73-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 24-10. And down he goes at the 41. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. From the 38-yard line, second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Back five, back five, little four. And he's tackled at the 28. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. decent run up the gut. The Beavers will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they get nice yardage on that run. Oregon State will take their second time out of the half. Here he goes. The five. Nice play to set up first and goal. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain and a first down. It's first down. First and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. Oh, he had a shot at the pit. That brings him second and goal. converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Just throws this one away. Man, left, man, left. Get down, get down. Choose the mic. Green 
a screen pass, gets it to the back. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He really got a hold of that one. And they push him out at about the 41. He showed a good burst there. We're about set to start things up again. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 39. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. And the ball game's over. And our final score on this one, 31-10, Sun Devil. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.